All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see if I can manage to get my shit together to film one video. Are you ready? Here it goes. Hi, hi, hello everyone, how are you? Um, I have not been on YouTube in like 45 years, um, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I was feeling really incredibly um, non-motivated and just my setup was crazy and excuses, excuses, excuses. Um, I got married while I was gone. Um, me and my husband are currently looking for a house. I uh, did some cool shit with my setup and I hope you like it. I figured I would do a chit chat get ready with me today and kind of talk through some stuff that I've been going through while I've been gone. Um, I have some... Um, kind of like a goofy shit to share with you some like real life shit and some um new makeup shit to share with you and I know that everyone and their mother is talking about this palette palette right now but I don't care I really like it and I keep like putting it back in its box so that I keep having to take it out of the box and it's just a marvelous experience every time. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't own any of the other Urban Decay Naked palettes. This is actually the first one I've ever gotten to use. And I got some shit to tell you. Let's go ahead and take this off. I've used this palette like mm, four times already. Maybe more. I've played around with it and I've swatched it like 15 times. But I think I've only put it on my eyes like twice. I don't know. But here's the good part. Oh yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna do my face of makeup and um, talk to you about this. I've actually gotten to where I do my eyes first. Um, I don't know when I became that bitch, but it's actually just so much easier and you'll see why. I'll show you, I will show you. Okay, I'm gonna sit this down before I accidentally throw it at you. First off, I got these glasses because I needed new glasses, <laughs> but um, they are terrible and um, I was hoping that the glare would be a lot less on them than my old glasses but this prescription and this lens is fucked up this one is perfect this one is not so perfect and so I think I'm gonna have to take them off and put my old glasses on and I don't want to <sighs> I'm mad about it alrighty let's see I'm going to start off with my brows today and boy oh boy the first story that I have to tell you is actually about my brows so here we go. Way back in the day, I was trimming my eyebrows and lo and behold, my hand twitches and I shave off all the eyelashes on this eye. So, I got towards being a little bit more careful when I was uh, trimming my brows. But lo and behold, this monstrous hand twitch that I have came back to bite me in the ass and I shaved off half of this eyebrow. All right, it was not okay. I looked retarded. I, um, <laughs> but the thing is, is that I would pencil in my eyebrow. Now, the hairs are starting to grow back, by the way. It's been like two weeks, but it still looks like butt shit. Um, I would have to pencil in this eyebrow, and so I would have like one magnificent looking eyebrow, one fuzzy caterpillar, and nothing else on my face because. Sometimes you just don't want to do your makeup in the morning, all right? I have absolutely fallen in love with this thing. I actually bought this the day before. I, um, accidentally shaved off my fucking eyebrow. I massacred that poor son of a bitch with my eyebrow trimmer. And I bought this the day before, and I was like, oh, thank God, Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I saw this on Trend Mood 1, and I was like, mm, it's mine. <clears throat> but I saw this, and I picked it up and started using it and I have not put it down since. I absolutely love this thing. It is my favorite. I've legitimately never had such an easy time feeling, f feeling, feeling in my eyebrows, feeling in my eyebrows in my entire life. So I live in like a suburb off of like Dallas. I don't actually live in Dallas. I live in a town right outside of Dallas. And I did not know, we, we didn't have a Sephora, we only had an Ulta for the longest time. I was driving by Sephora, oh, I can't talk, I cannot talk today. I was not driving by Sephora, I was driving by JCPenney's. And I look up 
And what do I see? A sign on their windows that says that they now have a Sephora. You bet your bottom dollar I went in to JCPenney's and went to their little Sephora section and spent like $150 the next damn day. I am in trouble. My husband is considering divorcing me. Someone come save our marriage. <laughs> it's amazing. And then you can like do little strokes at the front and it's like, oh shit, bitch, that's a little hair. No, it's not. I drew it in with this. But for reals, guys, I have been going through it for a moment. I'm not even kidding you. I became an alcoholic for like um, a month straight. My uh, husband went out of town and um, I was real sad. And I just, I have like some depression issues anyway. <laughs> but I was real sad about the fact that he was gone. And that coupled with my depression. And I was like having a real hard time with life. Um... I like drank uh, four bottles of whiskey in a week. It was not okay. I don't know how I didn't die of alcohol poisoning. There was one night where I went to get out of my bed. I was just, I was literally laying in bed like chugging whiskey. Not okay. I don't recommend this. I'm telling you not to do this. I'm just sharing my life. <laughs> I, I realize that I make poor decisions and that this is not okay and I need help. All right. I, I understand. So I was laying in bed chugging some whiskey. And uh, I like, guess I laid there for a long time. I guess this was a long process or maybe it wasn't a long process. Maybe I like chugged half the bottle in like five minutes. I don't know. I lost track of time. But I go to get up and I'm shit faced. All right, shit faced. I trip and fall, hit my head, lay on the floor, realize that I'm not getting up and just lay there for the rest of the night. That's the story of how I didn't eat dinner. It was not okay. So I kind of realized at that point, and I also tried to film a YouTube video during this time, and I thought it would be funny to do one of those, um, like, drunk um, makeup tutorials. No. I literally deleted the footage. It was pathetic. It was a not okay situation, and I'm like, I cannot put this on the internet and share this with people and make it look funny. Like, I cannot promote this kind of alcoholism. <laughs> This one's still a little fucked up. Its hairs are growing in backwards, forwards, and sideways, and it's doing good just to like be there at this point. This one I have not trimmed in like 14 years because I'm terrified. That'll do, pig. That'll do. It ain't perfect. But ask me if I actually care. The answer's no. Listen, I'm getting ready just to chop you off and pencil you in. I am also super late to the party on, um, Kat Bundy concealer. Where's my beauty blender? There it is. But yes, today is like the first day I have actually felt inspired to do anything with filming and makeup in a really long time. Like I get like these small fancies where I'm like, I'm gonna do it today. I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna go for it guys. I'm filming today and then I just get all sad and depressed and end up not doing anything. But y'all, it's spring now and I have like a renewed like hope for life now. Um, I just feel like life is on the up and I realize now it's like seasonal depression hit me like a Mack truck and I never got over it. And now that spring is here, I feel like I can live again. Let's see, I need a brush. I need a brush, I need a brush, I need a brush. Nope, that's not the one I was trying to grab. Um, let's see. I'm going to go in with this shade called Bucked. Let's see. Cor let's go into the crease and the outer corner. How does that sound? And then, because I have hooded eyes, I like to like blend it up onto this massive fat roll that I have above my eyeball. Because I feel like if not, if I go lower than that, this fat roll just sits on top of my eyelid. You can't see my eyeshadow. So, um, yes, let's do that. So when I very first got this palette, I really loved the color Endgame. That, I don't know why, it's just a dark brown color. It's like a chocolate brown color. No big deal. You could probably find that color in any other palette. But for some reason, that shade really drew me in. And I remember trying to use it and trying to really build that color up. And I found that it was really hard for me to do that with this palette. I find 
that that color isn't as pigmented and as deep and as rich and as chocolatey as I need it to be. I tried it with all different kinds of bases. I tried it with eyeshadow primers. I tried it straight on top of concealer. I tried powdered concealer and non-powdered concealer, you know, on my eyelid base. But it just was not working for me. It wasn't cutting it for me. I did not enjoy it at all. I tried applying it with different brushes, but no matter what I did, I could not get that color to build up like I needed it to. Um, maybe that was just me not really understanding what that color was supposed to be. Maybe it was a little bit of both. I have not watched any like reviews on this palette or anything, by the way. This is just my impression of it. This is how I feel about its colors. This is how I feel about how it wears. Hold on, I'm blind and I can't find the fucking brush I need. All right, let's see. Mm, going in with this pinky shade. And I feel like everyone and their mother has tried this pinky shade. And that that's what makes people go, Ooh, when they like look at this palette. But you know what? I'm going for it anyway. Taking that in the crease. It's almost creating like this mauve color. I don't know. It's definitely different. And I feel like being like a sassy ass bitch today and just blending all of my eyeshadow up to my eyebrow apparently. I look hideous, but you just wait. It'll come together. I promise. And if it doesn't, then it'll be alright. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take some of the shade in game and I'm going to put that on my inner and outer corners. Just a tainsy waist bit though. See, the pigmentation of this brown just is not, it's very, it's a very subtle pigmentation. It's not really anything crazy. And it's kind of patchy, honestly, which makes me sad. All right, while I'm just like packing this on and blending this out and doing all this bullshit, let's go ahead and talk about um, my marriage. <laughs> I kind of eloped. Me and my husband were like, mm, hey, you want to get married? I'm like no um and then it was like that for like mm, three years and then all of a sudden we were like hey you want to get married and we're like mm, yeah and we told like let's see his childhood friend is married to my cousin right so we're like okay we're just gonna go to the JP we're not going to have like an actual wedding we just want to be husband and wife and so we couldn't really think of who exactly to ask, but they made perfect sense. You know, his childhood best friend, my cousin, who I've known my entire life, obviously, they knew. Um, and then that's really it. Those are the only people that knew um, that we were getting married. And we set a date, went and got our marriage certificate, and then bam, we got married. I'm a married ass bitch now. I'm going to take that in game color again and just kind of try my best to build that son of a bitch up because it don't like to build. Let me tell you what. So that's it. That's literally the story of how I got married. We eloped. Just about our entire family was a little bit butthurt about it because no one got invited to our wedding. Bitch, we only had two people there. Calm down. For my honeymoon weekend, guess what we did? We went and got a hammock from Lowe's. I'm a liar. We went and got a hammock from Home Depot. But yeah, just kind of building up this color and blending it out and then building it up and then blending it out and then building it up and blending it out. And that's really all I'm doing right now. It's going to take me a minute. Okay, give me a second. And you know, I said that I was going to put this on the corner of my eyes, but I'm kind of thinking that now I don't really want to. I'm going to pat this pink shade all over my eyelid and kind of put it in the crescent of that brown shade and then towards my inner corner. And then I'm going to bring it up and put it over my brown bone and almost over top that brown shade. This is weird. It's definitely, it's definitely a little weird. But I like it. I ain't mad at it. I mean, it does look a little funky because I have like salmon pink on the fat rolls on my eyes. But I mean, I'm not mad at it. Right, I'm going to take this flat brush. This is actually a concealer brush. I do not use this little thing for concealer. I'm going to take Angel Fire and I'm going to put it on the inner half, just pat it on with that concealer brush. That really is a gorgeous color. I don't even know if you can see it on camera, but it is actually gorgeous. This brown is still looking really patchy and I keep having to go and repack brown on top of it. You guys, it's seriously just not my favorite color. Hmm. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take um, distilled, and I'm going to pack it on the outer half of that, and go from there. This is probably a huge mistake. This is probably gonna look like butt shit, but at the same time, this brown already looks like butt shit, so we're going to get it together. All right, um, I'm not gonna be doing a lot of talking while I do my eyeliner, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and, um, okay, because I'm just, I'm not gonna film it, I'm not gonna do any talking, and it's just kind of wasteful, so, um, I'll be back, all right. That took me 25 years. All right, so I'm moving on to face, and I'm gonna go ahead and start another story. Oh, wait, hold on. The eyeliner I used was the... Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. Jesus Christ, I'm like apparently an Urban Decay fanatic right now. And the mascara I used is the CoverGirl Flourish by Last Blash. But but bat blast. And then I use it to prime my top eyelashes, and then I go in with the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Is this also by Cover? No, this one's by L'Oreal. I have a story about my foundation actually. Okay, so I saw this. I was like, ooh, CoverGirl came out with a new foundation. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna try it. Guys, it's the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous foundation. And they just repackaged it. So I was like trying it. I was like, this foundation is just like this other foundation that I had. I was like, I kinda like it though. It's like so nice and so good. And guys, <laughs> they just repackaged and I was like, reviewing this foundation and like doing wear tests on this foundation and guess what I already owned it they just repackaged <laughs> and this is probably just a tad bit light for my skin maybe not maybe oh okay maybe it's a little light I have one more grand story to tell you it's actually kind of funny kind of not funny kind of sad so all right, so right now I am a car hop. I, and I come home with a lot of change. Nine times out of 10, I take this change like a giant bag of change. Like there have been times where it's been like over $100 worth of straight up change to the bank and at the end of the week. And I cash it in and it goes into my bank account, right? Well, I haven't done that for like two weeks. So I have this huge bag of change. So I take some of it into Walmart with me when I get groceries. I didn't have to. I'm just like, I have this huge bag of change. I need to actually do something with it instead of just letting it sit in my car. Like I'll just, I always go through self-checkout. I'm sure I can put it in that machine and everything will be fine because I'm a lazy bitch and I don't want to go to the fucking bank, right? All right. So I get my groceries and it's taking me forever, forever to put this change into this machine, right? Because the machine has to stop and catch up. I can probably only put like maybe $5 at a time. And by the end of this, I had $46 in change. All right. So there are three women that come up to me the entire time I'm at this self-checkout, taking my sweet ass time putting change into this machine. And the first two ladies, they're like really nice. They're like, honey, do you need help paying for your groceries? I don't mind helping you. It's okay. And I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm just really lazy and need to get rid of this change. And we have a good laugh and we have a little talk and they're really nice and really sweet. They like restore my faith in humanity. I was like, wow, there are good people in this world. Like I didn't need the help, but what if I did need that help, you know? And um, then this one bitch. <laughs> This one, bitch. And granted, I went at a time to where it was not busy. There were plenty of self-checkout areas around me. There, I was not holding anyone up. No one had to wait on me. Believe me, I was checking because I have a very guilty conscience. And I was like, oh, I don't want anyone to have to wait on me. I feel so bad. So I was constantly looking over my shoulder, kind of. And this one bitch comes up beside me. And she's like, I just don't understand why anyone would bring that much change to Walmart. Just go to the bank. And my first thought, I was like, you don't know, maybe I don't have any money in the bank. You know, maybe, maybe I really am poor, says the woman with a Michael Kors wallet sitting on the, <laughs> the table beside her. But still, like she didn't know, maybe I was going through like a really rough spot and I just actually didn't have money. You know, she, she didn't know, she didn't know my life. You know, you never know. And without even thinking, without just, 
just, I said the first thing that came to my mind and it was, I kind of regret saying it now because like, I, I, I probably should have just ignored her, but she was being very rude, all right? She was like really snotty about it. Like, you don't, you don't know my life, lady. And so I'm like, you know, while you're at Walmart, you might want to buy a case of uh, Mind Your Own Business. I hear they're on aisle 12. And she got all huffy and puffy and she left the self-checkout. And I felt bad, but at the same time, it's like, you don't know. Like, you don't know someone's fucking life. And who knows? Maybe I don't know her life. Maybe she was just having a really bad day and was taking it out on a stranger. But, like, why you gotta be so rude? Oh, God. I am looking ghostly. Granted, I don't feel like it looks that bad in person. I don't feel like out in the sunlight, I feel like this is a perfectly like normal shade on me like I feel like okay maybe it's a little light all right maybe I'm lying to myself honestly guys I really wish that I hadn't put that brown color on my lids I feel like on camera it looks halfway decent but in person it just looks kind of patchy and I wish that I feel like it would look better if the color had just been deeper and more pigmented I'm really disappointed in it it makes me sad but I guess I should stop talking about it because that's about all I fucking talked about oh I forgot to tell you guys the eyeliner that I used to do my wangs, to do my wangs, um, is the Stila Sail Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And let me tell you what, I have never had such an easy time applying wings that I do with this. All right. And <laughs> funny story, I've actually done a video on these. It's the uh, Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Sticks. The, um, this is the contour shade. They had a bronzing shade and a highlighting shade. I do not like the highlighting shade at all. The bronze shade is all right, but I'm more of a contour ass bitch and less of a bronze ass bitch. But I decided, I was like, you know, maybe you were just using it wrong. Maybe, you know, maybe if you retry it out, you'll like it. Turns out I'll actually like it. I also have the Found Baked Bronzing Powder. And I feel like this is a really underrated bronzing powder. I feel like it is very nice. And I actually reach for it a lot over my uh, Fish Distance Formula Butter Bronzer. I just feel like it's a nice, it's not orange at all and it's a bronzer. It works very much like a contour. What else do I have to do? I need a highlight shade. Hold on, I have to get my lip cam. I'm gonna use my NYX Powder Puff because I actually really like this. It's a very nice shade. What color is this in? Um, NYX Powder Puff Lippy in... What color is this? Best Buds. Oh my god, this video was literally almost over and I just now realized that I forgot to hook my mic up to my uh, camera. It's over there. In a drawer. God damn it. And then we... And that's it, guys. That, that is it. I'm done. This is what my makeup... You know how a lot of times you can put your hair up in a messy bun and then take it down and it's like, ooh, bitch, I have some waves. That's nice. And then other times you're like, what is happening with my life? Yeah, I thought I was going to get lucky and be able to be like, ooh, bitch, look at that. But no, 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 I did not get lucky. I probably need to wash it. It's not okay right now. All right. <laughs> that's it. That's that's my life lately. I, I, I thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. Um, if you made it to this point in the video, I really appreciate it. Um, comment down below and let me know how, how life has been going for you guys. I have so missed filming. I have missed filming so much. And I really hope that this isn't just like a one day thing that happens to me. And then I can actually start to feel good again and kind of get out of my like depressed slump. I have really been struggling all through winter, honestly. Ever since fall hit, my, my like motivation has just like hit rock bottom. But I've really been trying, as you can see with the background, and I don't know. I feel like I'm just in a lot higher spirits, and I'm ready to film again. And I've just, I've missed it, and I've just missed it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and for hanging out with me for a little bit. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.